Former CNN host Chris Cuomo is demanding an apology from the network. He also wants 125 million bucks as his attorney argues Cuomo is being made a scapegoat for his brother's scandals. Joe Concha joins us live with more. Joe, look, CNN does a ton wrong, but in this case, I think they may be on the side of right. I don't see Chris Cuomo having a case based upon these allegations. You agree? Uh, Todd, uh, to go, you know, full Game of Thrones here, since we love analogies uh, on this particular segment, uh, the Red Wedding at CNN continues. Those who haven't watched Game of Thrones here is where basically everybody takes each other out uh, in a particular wedding scene uh, on that show. Carly knows what I'm talking about. I sure uh, do. Look, uh, this... Thank you, Carly. Uh, uh, there aren't too many good guys or girls to root for here. Uh, on what planet does Chris Cuomo think that he's worth $125 million? Uh, he finished a distant third, right, against uh, other competition, including Sean Hannity on this network uh, in his particular time slot. But this is a guy, he got COVID, right? And then went on the air every night to talk about how sick he was and then faked his own quarantine to try to get ratings. This is a guy who literally left his home and got into a screaming match with a 60-something-year-old guy who was biking by who called him out for saying, hey, Chris, you, you were just on the air last night talking about how you had a fever and you had chills and you were still sick. What are you doing out? And Cuomo gets into a screaming match with him. Uh, Chris Cuomo also is a guy who helped his brother not only cover up a covid nursing home scandal that Janice Dean knows very well about. I'd love for her to join me right now because she could talk more about that, but also advised his brother on how to discredit credible accusers of sexual harassment against him, all while having allegations against himself as well. But, but on the other side of this, Chris Cuomo is accusing those currently at the network, including Jake Tapper, Don Lemon, Brian uh, Stetzler, uh, of running a smear campaign against him uh, after he was fired. So uh, there are no good guys or girls here, as I said, and this is only going to get messier for CNN as its collapse now apparently is complete. Well, speaking of CNN, their editor at large, Chris Saliza, has some thoughts on why this country is so polarized. And he writes, Republicans yeah. move faster and further to the ideo ideological right than Democrats have gone to the left. Uh, also, they have mm. made the entirety of the House and Senate more conservative over the past 50 years. Joe, defund the police, open borders, pick your poison. <laughs> uh, Chris Eliza, uh, what, what can you say about this guy? Uh, his most famous tweet is that he declared uh, definitively, without ambiguity, that uh, reporters, that journalists don't take a side, period. And then literally he takes a side uh, in every column that he writes. Uh, look, uh, I'd love to see Chris Eliza talk about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and the squad sometime. And if you want to look at this objectively, if you want to say that the Republican Party has gone more to the right than Democrats have gone to the left. I'm sorry, just look at the president of the United States right now, Joe Biden, who was considered moderate back in uh, that time called the mid-90s. I believe you call that sophomore year, Carly. And, and now you <laughs> see how far left that they have gone. So this is an <laughs> argument where you can make a, a, a pretty good argument, I think, for both sides, where, you know, maybe the right has gone a little bit more right. But Clearly, the Democratic Party has gone much more left uh, than the Republican Party has gone right. If you look at this sane and sober, which I am both right now, guys. Unconfirmed reports that Saliza's grandfather was the one who said Dewey defeated Truman. But we're looking into that. We'll hopefully get some results soon. Yes. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, sir. See you wearing your it green. It won't be sane and sober for long. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> we go to a Fox Where's News Where's Carly's alert now. green? Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it.